Hello and welcome to the Meraki Minute. In this video I will show you how to deploy a VMX using a new tool on the dashboard called Meraki Cloud Integration. Let's get started. Once we access the dashboard, uh, the first thing we need to do is to check whether we have enough VMX licenses available. So we click on Organization and then License Info. And then we can see that here in this example we have one VMX S license available, so we are good to go. The next step is to access to organization cloud integrations, which is where we will be configuring our connection to AWS. In this dashboard, I already have a couple of deployments, but for the purpose of this video, we will add a new deployment. So we click on add deployment and add account. Here is where we will configure our AWS credentials to access our AWS account. So we click on AWS and then next. And here the dashboard will tell me all the steps that I need to take to allow the dashboard to connect to AWS. We will define a IAM user on AWS and then we will assign the user to a specific permissions that are needed to deploy the VMX. Then we will create the access key for this user and link them to Meraki dashboard. So now let's move to the AWS console where I already access the IAM service, which is the identity and access management service for, of AWS. The first thing to do is to create a new policy for our Meraki user. And the reason why we do so is to allow only this user to specific activity on the AWS console. Click on the policy and then create a new policy. And here on the Meraki documentation, you can copy the exact JSON policy that is required by the Meraki user. Another option will be to build it on your own using the AWS tool. But for the purpose of this video, we will copy uh, the configuration proposed by the documentation and then paste it to the policy editor, which is on the AWS console. Then we click on next we give it a name in this case we will call it meraki dash policy and we can optionally add a description uh, in this case we will specify that the policy is to allow meraki to connect to a aws account once we are done we can just scroll down and hit create policy and we will have our policy created so the next step is to create a user. So we click on users and then create a user. We will call our Meraki user Meraki dash user and then click on next. Now we need to attach the policy we previously created. So we click on attach policy directly and then search for Meraki dash policy. Select it and then click on next and then create user. So now our user has been created. Now we can click on view user on the top and then find the security credential portion and then create access key on the bottom we will now select application running on AWS and then flag I understand the above recommendation and then click on next we won't use tax for now so we just hit create access key so finally, we have our access keys and secret access key that we need on our Meraki dashboard. So the next step is to go back to our Meraki dashboard and basically paste the access key ID and the secret access key to the dashboard itself. And then once we have done that, we can just give the account title uh, the name that we want. In our case, we call it AWS account Meraki and then click connect. So now the Meraki dashboard will try to use the security credential that we just created to connect to AWS. Once the connection is successful, we'll get 
a confirmation message. So now everything is set from an account point of view, we will select next and then select the VMX format that we want and then give it a name. In our case, we will call it AWS-Hub and click on next. The next thing to do is to select the AWS region where we want to deploy the VMX. We will select Frankfurt and then the VPC and the subnet. The subnet will define which availability zone will be used to deploy the VMX. Once everything is filled, we click on next, we check that everything is correct and then click on deploy. So what happens now is that the Meraki dashboard will contact the AWS and instruct to deploy a VMX in that specific region, VPC and availability zone that we defined. Once everything is done, we will get a complete message and we will already see the deployment on the dashboard. So if we refresh the dashboard now, we will have a new network. In our case, it's going to be called AWS Hub. And then if we click on security and SD1 and then on appliance status, we will see that we have a VMX available that is still starting up, but will be up in a few minutes. So I came back after a few minutes and by refreshing the dashboard, I can finally see that my VMX has completed the startup phase and now is capable basically of bridging my users to my cloud applications. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the new Meraki feature.